Hello Heavy Metal Maidens and Masters, I'm Heavy Metal Mama and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am doing a tag video and it is the horror movie tag video. But before we get to that, remember to like this video, comment down below if you want to discuss any of the things that I come up with in the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, it is such, such a help to grow this channel and thank you to everybody that already does. And remember to hit that notification bell so you can find out whenever I upload. So. The tag video that I'm doing today is the horror movie tag video and this was started by Moosem. Love you Sophie. Thank you very much for uh, for doing it. You've inspired me as it is the spooky month to uh, to do it too. So here we are. This is the horror movie tag. There are 13 questions. I'll make sure I list them all down below so that you can do them yourself as well. And on we go with the tag. So the first question is, what is the first horror movie that you ever watched? Uh, Aliens. I watched it at my friend's house. We were about 12. Uh, and I just remember being absolutely blown away by it. She was not that fussed about it. She kept leaving the room. I think she was a bit frightened, but didn't want to say anything, but she just kept li li leaving the room and disappearing off. I was wrapped. I loved this sci-fi, scary. It was brilliant, absolutely brilliant. One of my favorite movies of all time, Aliens. Um, I then saw Alien a few years later, which I think in some ways it's a shame because where I knew what was going to happen, it kind of made Alien not as scary because Alien was scary because nobody was expecting what happened to happen. But um, no, definitely Aliens was my favourite. Because I liked Aliens, I sort of mentioned to my dad about that and we ended up watching Terminator 2, which is again another one of my favourite movies. Not horror, but... We'll get to that. But uh, yeah, so it's um, started a lifelong uh, love of what I would call sci-fi horror for me. So the next question, what movie made you fall in love with the horror genre? Aliens. <laughs> also, um, I remember when it came out, The Cube. The Cube was groundbreaking for a movie. I remember we would, we watched it at my friend's flat. We used to go around there every Friday night. And there was about 30 of us, I think, and we were all just sat there with our jaws on the floor when we watched that film. It was so different and completely nothing like anything that had ever come out before. It was really, really clever. It was gruesome, you know, but not in a over-the-top gore for the sake of gore sort of thing. It was horror. It was n gross, and that made you terrified because what was going to happen to all these people. Loved that film. It was just such a clever, different film. And I love the fact you never found out what was on the outside. Loved it. Loved it. Question three. What is your favourite horror subgenre? Uh, I have a few. Uh, I like um, dystopian. I like sci-fi. I like zombies. Love a zombie movie. Love a zombie movie. And I like horror comedies. You know, Shaun of the Dead is fantastic film love Shaun of the Dead it's brilliant you know as is Brain Dead and oh well yeah I'll come on to all of those in a minute um Brain Dead Bad Taste Death Gasm Black Sheep all those kind of comedy they all seem to be New Zealand films actually <laughs> but I also love 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 a zombie movie absolutely adore a zombie movie you know I've seen most of them I haven't seen Dead Snow I, I no, I think that's going too far, but you know, yeah, I um, I've seen all, you know, 28 days, 28 days later, uh, Zombieland again, another horror com zombie com comedy. I mean, you can't can't get better than that, really. Yeah, they're probably my favourite subgenres, you know, and I love a dystopian, you know, like um, Wreck. That was really good. That you know, something's going on outside, and yeah, yeah, or that we're all trapped in here because the bomb's gone off, like Cloverfield. Um, number 10 Cloverfield Lane that is such a good film love that film you never quite know where it's going to go yeah that I mean is that horror I don't know horror movie that scares you so much you can't sleep well I'm not into what I would call like the slasher movies or the gore movies or that kind of thing or like ghosts I, I I'm a scientist I'm sorry if you know, I don't mean to offend anybody. I just, I don't believe in ghosts. I don't find the idea of ghosts scary because to me it seems ridiculous. So I don't find those movies frightening at all. So they don't appeal to me in the slightest, you know. I like 
well like I said dystopian etc those kind of horrors you know more I don't, I don't find the supernatural that frightening um, so I haven't really seen any that meant that I couldn't sleep I, when I was pregnant with my both my children actually we couldn't watch any Walking Dead because when you're pregnant you have really really vivid dreams and because we'd been binge watching The Walking Dead I was constantly having nightmares that I was very heavily pregnant being chased by zombies that my party of friends you know in in dreamland was slowly being picked off by the zombies and it was basically me alone having a baby which I think is a lot of the you know it's actually got nothing to do with The Walking Dead I think it's more the fact that you're worried that you're going to end up having the baby on your own somewhere because you know and and how terrifying that is <laughs> but, uh, yeah we had to stop watching The Walking Dead until the babies were born because couldn't couldn't handle that you know you don't sleep enough as it is but being woken up in the middle of the night because you've had another zombie nightmare uh, you know <laughs> I was just like when the babies are here we'll watch it <laughs> so, but yeah so both times I'm afraid yeah that was the only thing that's ever and it didn't scare me it's just I think it it played into my vivid dreams <laughs> so. what horror movies do you think are overrated well I haven't seen them so I can't say but stuff like Saw, Hostel that's sort of what I would call torture style of horror movie <sighs> or um, the one that I did the makeup for, Terrifier, those kind of gore, slashy. I'm not interested in seeing somebody being disemboweled, you know, <laughs> etc. I, if it has a place in the movie, like, for example, fantastic movie, Severance. Don't know if you've seen it. Danny Dyer, hilarious. Um, that is gory, but the gore is there for a purpose. It drives the story along, so... Um, you know, and it's kind of funny, <laughs> the gore, because it's ridiculous. But it it has a purpose in the story. It's not just blood and violence for the sake of it, which I'm not into. So something like Hostel, I have no interest in watching that at all. Um, also stuff like The Hills Have Eyes and things like that. Again, I'm not interested. And even House of a Thousand Corpses. Heavy Metal Hubber, Hubby loves Thousand Corpses. He loves Rob Zombie's movies. It's it's too much for me it's too much I'm not into watching people just being really horrible to other people for the sake of it you know I like a movie where it's much more about society's broken down and what happens when society breaks down and how do we lose our humanity and our you know our sense of social justice etc and how far are you willing to go to save your family and that kind of thing you know that's more my bag <laughs> so <laughs> yeah right Question six, any horror movies that you think are underrated? Yes, quite a few. So, underrated, I think my favorite one of the underrated is the 2007 version of The Signal. If you Google The Signal, you're most likely to get the one with Lawrence Fishburne and it's not that, it's a little indie movie, The Signal. It's creepy. I'll I'll put a, a link down below to somebody's trailer of it. It's for me. It's very gory. It's about my. It's the line on my gore. There are bits of it where I do have to look away, but it's got such a black sense of humour. I have a very black sense of humour, and so it really appeals to my dark, twisted sense of humour. Particularly, it's split into three acts, and the the, the middle act is yeah deeply black humor it's such a clever little story and it's done on such a small budget i really really enjoyed that film really great film um train to busan that's a korean film in really really good really good film you know we read some reviews on it and we were like oh i don't know it was brilliant we got about a quarter of the way through it and we were like we need to set up a recording for our digibox on that and so it recorded it you know an hour later it's such a good film, really, really clever. And I like the way that because it's Korean, they don't have the Hollywood sensibilities of, you know, oh, the Virgin can't die and that kind of thing. You know, they're, it's good. And it therefore, because they don't stick to those Hollywood rules, you're surprised by certain people dying and the way that certain people behave as well, because they don't necessarily have American ethics, code of ethics and code of conduct, as it were. So yeah, really, really great film. Um, Cabin in the Woods, love Cabin in the Woods, but I mean, no, that, I, I wouldn't say that that's underrated. Um, number 10, Cloverfield Lane. 
that didn't do very well and that's creepy as hell really really creepy and I love the twist at the end brilliant brilliant the Cloverfield paradox brilliant film really that was freaky yeah really enjoyed that really enjoyed that um Pandorum great film Silent Hill, Resident, the whole Resident Evil franchise, love the whole Resident Evil franchise. I know a lot of people think it's shit, but I love it. Um, World War Z, although it's nothing like the book. The book. Oh, the book. Oh, the book. That book is frightening, <laughs> you know, because it's like he basically did like a, like governments will do like disaster planning things. It's like somebody did one of those for a zombie apocalypse and went, right, what happens for five years? It's fantastic book much much better than the movie but the movie's all right um the happening is very underrated really enjoyed that movie um event horizon i mean who doesn't love event horizon again um and like i said the cube fantastic movie um the thing both the original and the remake i really enjoyed really enjoyed them oh bad taste brain dead black sheep um deathgasm the Mist as well. The Mist. Oh, The Mist. <laughs> oh, <laughs> tell you what, if you haven't seen The Mist, watch The Mist and the last five minutes. That is a lesson that you should always learn. <laughs> oh, it's such a good film, but oh, it's heartbreaking. Who is your favourite movie monster? I don't have one. I would say Four Monsters, my favourite movie is Cabin in the Woods because you almost can't pick. There's so many fantastic, fantastic uh, monsters in there. I mean, obviously there's Fornicus with the saw blades going through his head, brilliant. The Merman, which I cosplayed. Um, the Sugar Plum Fairy, that's fantastic. I love the idea of this little ballet dancer that's just all teeth. I mean, obviously you've got the zombie torture family or whatever, but I actually like the more subtle ones more. When you watch the cubes moving around in that particular sequence where you can see all of the different monsters, you can see there's three people in KKK uniforms, which I love the idea that not all monsters are monsters. Some monsters are just people, um, which, you know, I really love that concept. Um, and, and I also love the fact that there's a, a robot, you know, <laughs> that's a monster and, a giant bat and a unicorn. I loved the idea of a unicorn being a monster as well. <laughs> that was brilliant. So I couldn't pick, but I would say the monsters in Cabin in the Woods, they're just brilliant. I love the, the thoughts that went into all those different monsters, brilliant. Question eight, what is your favorite scene or set piece from a movie? So one of my all time favorite, favorite movies, just what it, I just love Resident Evil franchise but my favorite movie is resident evil love resident evil mm, is that my favorite movie it's definitely in the top 10 but i love that movie again i've cosplayed that movie numerous times as well because i love it so much i love the bit where they're in the tunnel and they're trying to get into the red queen and she doesn't want to let them in uh, and so they're like jumping over all the lasers and stuff and i love the bit with i can't remember his name colin something the british actor the um, that's the leader of the team and I love the bit when he they think they're safe and then the laser comes along and then just turns into a, a net of cubes and it just dices him up I just I mean obviously they did pinch that from the cube but I think for a, a sequence it's just fantastic it's that thing of you think they're safe you think they're safe and then no nope, they're absolutely screwed right at the end and it's just the sound effects with it as well the sort of squelching <laughs> and you know it's not overly gory but it's kind of gross really gross at the same time you know and quite horrifying i really love that 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 piece question nine if you had to stay in one horror movie mansion or location what would it be and why uh, some examples camp crystal lake the overlook hotel the sawyer family home etc mine would be the hive from resident evil i would love to explore the hive you know obviously i'd like all the monsters to be gone <laughs> so but i love the fact that there's the big house over the top i'd love to you know because it looks so opulent in the movie and then to have this really cool lab set up down beneath i yeah i so want to stay in the hive 
Minus all the T-virus though, please. <laughs> Are there any, any horror movies you can't or refuse to watch because they disgust you so much? The Human Centipede, what is wrong with people? Why would you want to watch that? Why, after reading what it's about, would you still watch that? I, I get it, there's horses for courses, but ew, <laughs> you know? I mean, even Saw and Hostel, why would you want to watch that? I, I, I know the imagery is supposed to be quite cool and stuff, especially with is his name Saw? I don't really know, but uh, yuck, you know. But yeah, particularly the human centipede. No, 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 not at all. Ew. Right, the next question. Have you got any horror crushes, an actor, a character or whatever? You nasty. <laughs> not really. No. Um, I mean... Basically, I, I'm a bit sad, really. I, I, I'd have a type, and my type isn't Hollywood men. It's basically, I like tall, muscular, metalhead men with long hair. So, I mean, Jason Momoa is like the only one that ticks that box. And, and, and weirdly, I have a thing for Jason Statham as well. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. But, yeah, so there's not many... No, I'm, you know, I'm a bit dull like that, really. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Question 12. Best horror movie to watch on Halloween? Um, I think my favourite, it would have to be 28 Days. I love 28 Days. Severance is really good. That's a very halloween -y kind of movie. Again, you know, we like the zombie movies, so, you know, we'd probably end up having, like, a Zombieland type movie marathon you know those sort of things but Shaun of the Dead you know I, I like a horror comedy I do like a horror comedy if I really wanted to be freaked out oh I don't know Rex pretty good Rex pretty yeah you never quite even afterwards you're not quite sure what's happened so yeah um I don't know I think I'd have a bit of a marathon of of or maybe even what last train to Busan I really enjoyed that again I'd probably watch that again on Halloween um Let's think, because we're not into like slasher type movies or like, you know, Halloween or Jason or anything like that. I wouldn't watch those kind of movies. So, yeah. Right, and question 13 is, what are your guilty pleasure horror movies? Scream, um, Scary Movie, Final Destination. You know, those real cheesy 90s mass media type horror movies. You know, they're crap, but they're great, you know? <laughs> So, you know, they're definitely, uh, yeah, I, I would say they're a guilty pleasure because you know it's going to be shite. It's quite fun playing the guess who's going to die next, you know. <laughs> so, which is, I think, why I like Cabin in the Woods so much because they take that ridiculous formula that these 90s mass-produced movies use and, and turn it on its head, which I really like. So, yeah, yeah. Well, that was the horror movie tag. If you would like to do the tag too, then I've put all the questions down in the description box below. Thank you, Moosem, Sophie, for uh, doing for inventing this tag, and you know, it was great fun to do it. Uh, if you want to do it too, please do. Remember to like, comment, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell, and remember, people, stay heavy. Yeah.